When you create a new job in JobTread, you'll be brought to the job dashboard. Now this dashboard is going to give you all of your insights throughout your entire project so you can keep track of your project from start to finish. Here on the dashboard tab, you'll notice that you have a quick overview of all of your financials for the job. And then also you have your custom fields for the job. So you can click on any of those custom fields and edit them at any time. Additionally, you have your progress bar that is showing you your job start and end dates as well as the progress toward that end. And then of course you have your job access list. Your job access list is going to show you any of your customers, your internal users, and also your external vendors who have access to this job, whether it be through their internal job tread or through their external portal. So here you'll see we have a couple customers added to this job. Additionally, we have some internal users. Maybe that is the team that's working on this job specifically. And then I also have my vendors. Now your customers and your vendors will be automatically added to this list as soon as they're sent their first document through JobTread. So if you send your customers a proposal or maybe your vendors a bid request or a purchase order, they will be added to this list because that means that their portal is initiated. Now, if you'd like to add them to this list, manually however you can go ahead and click plus user and then choose from all of your contacts throughout job tread who you'd like to add to the list let's go ahead and add in our hvac company and then you can choose whether or not you want to send them an email to notify them and invite them to view their portal and then you'll click add now you'll see them listed on here now each person also has contact information so you can go ahead and contact them through the portal also, you can choose whether or not you're going to share their contact information with others. So here on the customer account, you can choose to share the contact information with other customer roles here. And then also, do you want to show the customer contact information to your vendors who are added to the job? You can show or hide that information. Additionally, you can click the three dots to access other tools that could be helpful for you when managing these users. You also have similar options here internally. So maybe I want to share my internal user information with my customer. And then maybe I also want to share my vendor contacts with my customer as well. Now you also have some internal users in JobTread who have access to all jobs. They're going to be listed in this other users with access list. And then you can choose to add them to this specific job as part of the project team, just by clicking the little plus sign. All right, you also have the option to message anyone on this job access list by either clicking on the little message tool or you can go ahead and just use the at symbol in the message box. As soon as I put the at symbol, it will show me everyone from that job access list that I can message. Now I can select each of them one by one, or I can go ahead and send a message to an entire role altogether. So let's send a message to all of our vendors at once. So I'm gonna do at vendor, and now I can say the project will be delayed two weeks due to bad weather. Great, as soon as I hit post, that is going to post on all of my vendors' job tread portals, as well as it will send that to them via their notification preferences. So whether they're receiving their notifications through email or push notifications, that will also reach them that way. Now the center portion is also your activity feed for the entire job. So I can scroll down on this activity feed and see time stamped activity for my job so I can keep track of everything that's going on. On the right hand side, this is essentially location information and any other to do items that you might need to follow up on. So we have our job cover photo. This is also going to show on the customer and vendor portals. You also have some of your outstanding items listed here and then your location information, including your location custom fields for this job site. Now, if you need to edit any of the basic job details, you can click edit job here and add in any of your details. Additionally, all of the tabs across the top are specific to this job. So you have your job budget, 
You also have your job documents, which are all the documents that you sent to vendors or customers, and they could be in any status. Just note on this page, each of these aggregated totals are also filters. So if you wanted to just see this one open invoice, go ahead and click on it and it will show it to you. You also have all of your selections. So if you are using customer selections, all your selection documents will land here. Additionally, you have your job schedule, and then you have your daily logs for the job. All of the daily logs will be listed and time stamped. And then you have your time. So any time tracked toward this job will land here. And then you have your job files and they can be viewed in list view or grid or gallery view. And then you also have your job reports. So throughout the job, you can keep track of where you're at. All right, so if you have any questions, contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help.